Hello friends, uh, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, uh, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about uh, creating the virtual machines um, on a bare metal server which is provisioned on, uh, which is provisioned from a hosting website called ovh.com. So this is how it looks like once we provision and uh, as part of this video, we will try to understand what is a hypervisor and also we will try to set up hypervisor on this uh, bare metal server. So as I have been mentioning uh, earlier, a physical server is nothing but a, a combination of physical memory, physical CPU and uh, local storage or network storage which is physical in nature. Using this, we can um, start setting up the uh, environment and uh, once we get the computer, the first thing we, we need to do is to set up the operating system. The operating system can be uh, such as uh, Red Hat or uh, Ubuntu or Windows, whatever it is, or it can be hypervisors. So hypervisor is nothing but an operating system, but is much more lightweight in nature. So it does not have all the features a typical operating system uh, will have. So it will, uh, uh, it will not have uh, uh, the graphical user interface wherein you, uh, you launch the browser and access the internet. All those features will not be available uh, for this lightweight operating system called hypervisor. The, the only or uh, the core capabilities of this hypervisor is to create virtual machines um, on that uh, physical server where the hypervisor is installed. So there are n number of hypervisors. Um, the most popular one is VMware ESXi. Okay, so VMware ESXi is the uh, bare metal hypervisor which can be installed on any bare metal server and then we can start uh, uh, installing the virtual machines on it. And the alternatives are Microsoft's Hyper-V or it, it is Microsoft Hypervisor wherein you can create uh, uh, virtual machines using Hyper-V technology. And uh, there is another one called uh, Oracle Oracle Virtual Manager. Okay, yeah, it's Oracle's, Oracle basic technology. So there are many hypervisors such as uh, VMware ESXi, Oracle VM Manager, uh, Microsoft Hyper-V and so on and so forth. So this hypervisor um, will not have the, graph the fancy graphical user, user interfaces to access internet and uh, um, do whatever you want. The core capabilities of these hypervisors are to just to create the virtual machines, nothing beyond that. Okay. So uh, th that is a brief introduction about hypervisor which is nothing but an operating system kernel which can create virtual machines. So we need to install that. So if it is uh, from a hosting platform most likely they will give access to hypervisors. Uh, if it is your in-house bare metal server then you have to download the hypervisor. You have to mount it like a CD and then you have to boot it and then hypervisor will be installed. So it's pretty straightforward. There is no complexity involved. It will just uh, install the hypervisor with minimum uh, hardware requirements. So now let us see. So this is the bare metal server. To install hypervisor or any operating system on this bare metal server, you, you go to the server status once you select the bare metal server. So the way you can come to this is go to ovh.com and in the ovh.com you have web control panel if you sell, click the, click on this one once you provision the virtual machines you will start seeing the virtual uh, sorry not to the virtual machines once you provision the bare metal servers or dedicated servers you, you will start seeing under dedicated server section choose the bare metal server and this is the one which is uh, provisioned uh, uh, recently uh, for the demonstration purpose and I have selected that one and under server status you can see in the system OS it is saying not installed. 
and then you have to click on install uh, either you can choose your own template which is uploaded or you can install from an OVH template in this case I am trying to install from OVH template click on next and here if you look into the type of operating system there is the basic and ready to use graphical in user interface in basic you will get the operating system directly and you can set up the operating system directly if you want to uh, set up hypervisor you have to switch to ready to use graphical user interface and then here you have several of the hypervisors which are available uh, for free uh, from OEH okay uh, on top of hypervisors there are others also uh, so Citrix exam server is a hypervisor and other hypervisors which are available are VMware ESXi both 5.5 .5 and 6.0 are available so in this case I am choosing VMware ESXi which is nothing but a uh, lightweight operating system uh, whose core capabilities are to create virtual machine a virtual machine is nothing but a, a combination of virtual memory virtual CPU and virtual storage carved out of the pool resources uh, in a larger environment in this case we are using only one server but in in actual uh, enterprise we will have the pool of multiple physical servers uh, from which these virtual computers are carved out so click on next I am not customizing anything on this I am using the bare minimum uh, default settings you can see uh, the root file system is taking 500 MB storage uh, sorry five, 500 MB partition and overall yeah storage uh, and overall storage that will be used is 1 GB because we are using RAID configuration in this if you want to modify I think it will not let us to modify this so we have to leave it like this we can give the name so demo.itversity that is the name of my uh, my ESXi uh, in this case and then click on confirm and then it will start the installation the installation will take some time and once the installation is done I can minimize you can go to this one and it will show like this okay it will switch to reinstall once the installation is done as the installation is going on it will say the installation process at any point in time you can click on this to see the progress and it will take some time to uh, to finish the setup process once the setup process is done we will review few uh, things uh, such as uh, uh, the ESX command line interface ESX CLI and uh, also we will try to log into the uh, uh, operating system uh, which is the ESXi uh, hypervisor and we will try to see what is there and what is not there and what can be done and what cannot be done and also we will see how to connect to this uh, connect to it using SSH based uh, uh, SSH based commands and then uh, we will also see how to access uh, the ESXA web console and also we will see uh, vSphere client uh, to access uh, the ESXA host and then we will see how to create virtual machines out of that it it takes series of videos to cover all the all the topics which I have explained and as while creating the virtual machines we will also create something called virtual router so that we don't need to have public IPs for each of our virtual machine instead we will be using the private IPs and private networking as much as possible uh, to minimize the cost of having the public IPs which I will explain as we proceed that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about on all these topics please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned um, i am trying to create a common discussion platform wherein people can um, uh, discuss on all these technologies which are being covered as part of our platform that being said thank you bye